everybody. Happy Monday, MLK Day. Yay! Um, we're kicking it old school today. It's me and Lauren. Lauren is on production today, yep. so if you hear a little voice, uh, that's her. I'm back here behind the scenes Be where I started. Behind the scenes. Behind the camera. Isn't that wild to think that you like weren't in when you started here you like weren't intending to be on the camera i was never intending to be on the camera did you guys know that about lauren and yeah. she's like literally a natural i learned every <laughs> everything i know is from lauren and tanner they taught me everything you you they didn't waste any time throwing you back no here. did not waste no time throwing me in, no. in here it's crazy so Yay. Sadie had to go home because it is snowing like cray cray outside right now like if y'all are in east tennessee it is snowing. I saw someone say it's like negative 12 and negative 14. So like, I'm not complaining, but I'm just letting you guys know if it snows in East Tennessee, we don't know how to drive. <laughs> like uh, right. we don't have, we were talking to Sin, our project manager. And she was like, you know, do you guys have snow tires? And I was like, what's a snow tire? I, know. I mean, obviously I know what it is, but like, I was like, we don't have, we don't have that. So anyways, Beautiful snowy day here in Tennessee. That's why we're going live a little bit early. Normally we would be live 1.30 Eastern Standard, but it is a holiday and a snow day. We thought, let's just go live a little bit earlier so we can hop and skip on out of here. So right. if you guys are new here, welcome. This is the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. I'm Alicia, Lauren is on production today. You'd normally see both of our faces or one or the other. Thank you for being here on this Monday. I know lots of people are off work today, so that's, that's fun. It's super fun. Yeah, and we have fun at work, so this doesn't really feel like work for us. Um, so we enjoy being here when you all are off. That way you can craft on your off days live with us. Um, we are, and this is just a little a little surprise. surprise we are doing surprise. we're doing a giveaway Yay! today. So super exciting. We said we're gonna do a hundred dollar Amazon gift card, right? Yes. Y'all, a hundred dollar Amazon gift card, you could get all the supplies you need to make this craft today. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so, not only that, not only that, but we are also doing give me two seconds let me find it so i can get everything correct okay? okay so we are doing we have our free seven day um trial for yes. our membership but until friday only mm -hmm. we are going to do something a little different so if you sign up for our free seven day trial seven days. you are going to get a little and so you stay on so you sign up for free seven days, uh -huh. free for your first seven days. Yep. You are either going to sign up as a monthly or a yearly member. Mm -hmm. If you do not cancel before your trial ends and you do become a member, we are going to be giving away. If you go yearly, you're going to get a full MGL starter kit. Amazing. And then if you um, do monthly, if you do monthly, we're going to be sending you a weeding tool and a reference guide. Yes. So, and y'all loved those when we did them before. Yes. So they're back. Which they're back. I did not bring one in here. Darn I it. have, I don't have a weeding tool, but they look like these. These are like the little sets that we gave away before. I don't know if we're overhead, but. No, we're not, we're in This front. is the little true control knife and the spatula. We had the whole shebang before. Lauren's grabbing a reference guide right now, and there's probably, we have these weeding tools floating around everywhere. Oh, look, it's even in its cute packaging. That's for the month. So if you all sign up for the seven day free trial, free for seven days, okay? We've never done this, it's brand new. And I'll, then decide to go monthly. To go overhead. Now we're overhead. Sorry. Whew. I'm trying to go back it's and forth. It's a two man show here. Yeah. Um, and then you decide to go monthly. This is what you're going to receive. Weeding so, tool, mm -hmm. Cricut reference guide. This reference guide, let me just show you guys really quick. If you've never seen this before, if you are just getting into cricketing, and a lot of you all that are new here are because you just got your Cricut for Christmas. You're just getting into it. I already saw Caitlin. Caitlin Winstead, shout out. I see you, girl. Um, she got her Cricut for Christmas, and she has been watching our videos like religious. And I'm also going to shout you out for starting your own S uh, Etsy shop with SVGs. Caitlin literally. Oh, is that Caitlin? Yes. Oh, snap. Yeah. So Caitlin is selling her own SVGs. Y'all, she just started cricketing literally like three weeks ago. So 
She can do it. You guys can do cool. it. Um, I just want you all to know that you have the capabilities and with our help, you can achieve your goals. So this that's, little, that's for the monthly. So the cricket, yes. that's, but with the yearly, you get that plus, plus you get the 30 days to master your cricket mm -hmm. book and the whole MGL starter kit. Yes. Yeah, so I'm not flipping through this very good, but it's okay. It's this book has so much good information. It's got cut settings, pr heat press settings. Lauren individually tested every single one of these heat settings on her own. Yeah. There's times, there's heats, there's everything. So love this book. This is really priceless knowledge. This is like yep. if we just squished our knowledge into one book and gave it to you, that's yep. what's in here. So, so we do have someone that asks what that are, that is asking, where can I get the reference guide? So if you are a member right now, if you're currently a member, you can actually go to our, uh, on the dashboard. Mm -hmm. It's our Reference library, cricket. It's right. resource resource library. Resource library. Yeah. yeah, we'll show you where to where to find that here in a few minutes. Yes. So, um, anyways, uh, Caitlin said these videos are live. I was binge watching all Christmas break. We're the dream team. Oh, thank you. Um, so, if you guys were like, "What are we doing today? What are we doing here?" I don't want to hear about this little spiel. You know, we gotta let y'all know our good deals. But we are here to craft, and I'm wearing what we're crafting today. So we're making an MLK Day shirt, so you all can actually make this. If you got a T-shirt floating around, I, we personally have like a whole two or three bins of shirts just like chilling, so we can make mm -hmm. a shirt whenever we want. Um, but we are going to be doing a little pocket design, and then this is the back. Let me move my ponytail. Lauren, can you read the quote? It says, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, there you I go. I love it. I love it. Me too. So we are going to make an MLK quote shirt. Um, I hope you guys are excited. We are going to be using multiple colors of vinyl. Now, last week we learned how to layer HTV. So I feel like we're kind of going in reverse, but there are lots of good tips that you can learn and take away from layering multicolored vinyl, not necessarily on top of each other, um, but just using multiple colors in a singular design. So that's what we're going to be going over today. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. Obviously you're going to need the vinyl. And I did link all the different shades, like the skin tone shades I linked below that I use as well as this pale yellow shirt. I love this shirt cause it's almost another skin tone. Yeah. Um, so I just think it looks really cool. This would look, I love that it's monochromatic. Yes. So we did have a friend ask what brand shirt, sweater, and hoodies do y'all prefer? If you're asking us, I, and especially mm -hmm. when it comes to t-shirts, my go-to for a t-shirt is going to be a comfort color. Me too. Every time. Or a Canva. Why. I love a can Bella Canvas. Bella Canvas is really good. Yeah. Um, as far as sweatshirts go, I don't think you can beat a, a classic Hanes or a mm. classic Gildan sweatshirt. I was hoping you said Hanes. That's my favorite. Honestly, and I'm a big comfort color shirt girly, mm -hmm. but I'm not a huge comfort color sweatshirt girly. Yeah, they're more... They're not like sweatshirty. They're like thick. They're like, like a really thick, almost rough material. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the comfort color sweatshirts, but I am yeah. highly, highly a fan of an original Hanes yes, or, or original Gildan sweatshirt. Yes, period. That's me too. Period. So... You're going to need, um, we're using a comfort color shirt today. If we can go overhead, I'll show you all all the supplies. So this color, I'm not 100% sure on the name of it. I want to say it's just like ivory. Yeah. Um, but it is 100% uh, cotton. So we are using 100% cotton today. Um, like I said previously, if you are putting HTV on shirts, you need to be pre-washing them so that when the shirt gets washed, it doesn't shrink. I had some comments on the last video that said they never had issues. If you haven't, that's fine, but I always err on the side of caution when I'm working with yeah. shirts that I'm making for people because mm -hmm. you don't want them to get home and like you haven't pre-washed your shirt and they wash it and it shrivels up their design. It's just not gonna be good for anybody. So um, this is 100% cotton, so you definitely wanna wash it because cotton does shrink. And then I've got our HTVs here. So we've got a dark brown, we have a little bit lighter, and then we have this like hazelnut color, and then we have a light apricot color. So you see we've got these, and you don't have to have these exact ones. 
Um, if you wanted, I mean, you can literally, if you wanted to do like rainbow colors, you could do that. Whatever you got. That would be really cute. Would it, with this quote, I feel like it would fit. It fits. For so everything. if you're wanting to do more of like a pride shirt, you can. Um, but I love just using the skin tones for this one. And then we have our standard grip mat. I've got a t-shirt guide and I have our heat press. We're gonna be using our mini easy press. Oh, that was the heat press that I cut on accident. Well, we're gonna use it. <laughs> we kinda, we are hard on our Cricut heat mats. They yeah, all are. look so <laughs> rough. Yeah. Um, but this one's like, can I, you think I'll be okay? It'll be fine, I use it all the time. Oh, okay, it's I fine. just accidentally cut, I was trying to cut something with a true control knife and mm. Cut right a little bit through too it. much pressure. Didn't cut through the padding, just literally the top layer. You just of that. got excited. It's Ooh. okay. <laughs> so uh, you need a heat mat. You don't need a heat mat, but a heat mat is very helpful. And then I'm using the Cricut Mini Easy Press today. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. These heat up so fast, though. I you don't have to do it super early. Um, and I'm gonna put it on the medium heat setting, and we'll just set that to the side. If you're using a bigger heat press, that's like three seventy five. 350, yeah. 375 ish yeah. mm -hmm. for the medium heat setting. Yep. And then um, I've got a true control knife, a weeding tool, a pin pin tool. If you're new to the Cricut world, this is like a little teeny tiny weeding tool. So it has a little needle at the top. These are so good for weeding intricate designs, which we are going to be doing today. And then I've got a burnishing tool. Okay. So, like simple things you're probably going to have laying around already. Um, I feel like whenever you first get into cricketing, making HTV t-shirts is like, it's like a rite of passage, right. basically. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go ahead and hop into design space. Do we have any questions before we go on? I don't want to miss anybody. Um, I don't, I mean, we've had some questions, but I also feel like our questions are things that we're going to answer um on top like on in the um live yes. we did have someone ask uh, so if i've got design space i have access to, access to the booklet um no marley grace creations we are a membership where we bring you cut files fonts all of the stuff that you need to use in design space but we are separate from design space um one big difference I guess you could say that is separates us from Design Space and from like Cricut Access mm -hmm. is once you download um, fonts and stuff from our website, you have commercial use access license to those to sell. But if you are no longer a member, it reverts back to a personal and you get to keep it kind of thing. Right, right. And somebody asked um, if they have access to the resources area. Where did I say? Oh. We were going to um, show them where to find that. Yes, Tamara. Oh my gosh. I just discovered the resource area and what a treasure trove, printing all the cheat sheets and guides. And that just reminds me that if you all sign up for that seven day free trial, you're going to immediately get access to all those resources that she's talking about. Mm -hmm. And you can download and print those off and have them forever, regardless of if you decide to stay with us or not. We hope and assume that you will stay with us because we're like a lot of fun um but if you just want to try for seven days you have access to all of that so that's really cool um and you have access to that reference guide that we were talking about earlier too so let's jump into design space go ahead and start working on this t-shirt i don't want to keep y'all forever um but right here i've already got everything laid out so this is going to be our end result okay so we're going to start from the very top i'm not just going to go in and cut this and y'all have to figure it out on your own no no i'm going to teach you exactly what i did to achieve this result so we're just going to scoop this on over here and i'm going to go ahead and snag my fonts as well as my images I like to have all of my elements before I start designing. That's the way I like to do things. So, oh, for sure. Yeah, it's just easier, like, if you can see everything, uh -huh. you know. So, we're going to be using the Power Fist. I'm going to go ahead and download that. It's going to pop into a zip folder. If you don't see it for some reason, just go to your finder and look in your downloads. Or, like, the search bar and look in your downloads. And then you can see it pops right there. Then we're going to open up. Cricut Design Space, go to your uploads over here on this left panel, and then I'm gonna hit upload image, and we're just gonna drag and drop that SVG in, and then you're gonna upload it. Now it's in Design Space, but we need to click it and add it to our canvas, okay? 
Beautiful. I'm just going to set them right there. Yep. Now we need to go get our font. So we are using uh, Nomad and Inventor today. Now, if you've already got Gypsy downloaded on your computer, Gypsy and Nomad are the same thing. So either way. So let's go find our fonts. Actually, I pulled them up. I already pulled them up. <laughs> Look. Looky there. So if you're downloaded a font, it's the same thing. Just hit that little download icon. It's going to go into a zip folder. And then for the fonts, you've got to double click on that .otf file, and then we're going to install the font. So it's installed on our computer, and then I'm going to go ahead and snag that Inventor font as well. Hit download. It's going to go into a zip folder. We're going to click on the OTF font or file and then install the font. Okay. Um, and we do go over all of these uploading fonts, uploading images in our 30 days to master your Cricut. When you become a member, that is in your resources. So or, I'm sorry, is it in resources or is it in classes? I'm blanking. What? How to the 30 days to master your Cricut. It's in courses, but it's also, you can find the, the, um, Book and, book resources. and resources. Okay, that's why mm -hmm. my brain was yep. crossing wires there for a second. Um, so you all can actually go watch that 30 days semester year cricket, and you can complete that within those free seven days. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. um, it's but we break down everything, so you can get in there, and if you're like, well, she went way too fast how on how to download that font or that file, we go real slow over there, okay? Because yeah. we want you to you know walk with us and really learn how to do it. Um, so if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't think that fast, it's totally fine. Okay. Paris has a really, our friend Paris has a really good question. Okay. They say, if I cancel my Cricut Access, will I lose all my downloaded projects? So Paris, if you have Cricut Access and you have used certain Cricut Access files and you've just used them without buying them mm -hmm. because you have the membership, if you cancel Cricut Access, then unfortunately, yes, you do lose access to be a, to recut something you've already designed. Unless you've purchased Unless you've purchased it now individually. If you, if you purchase it individually, then you then you still have access. However, yes. if you did not purchase it and you just used it because you already have the subscription, you, mm -hmm. then yes, you will lose access. Right. The difference between them and us, and I've said it, I know people are probably We sound saying, like a broken record. We sound like a broken record We just gotta let you know. But we, we I mean, it's just the truth. Truth yeah. is the truth. Truth the will truth. stand when the world's on fire. The truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. <laughs> um, for, with our stuff, once you download it, I mean, it's, it's yours. Mm-hmm. It's right. yours. Right. Um, the only Forever. difference is if you are currently a member, you will always have commercial use license, meaning you can sell your stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if for some reason your life changes few years, however long down the road, and you are no longer a member, you still have access, but it reverts to a personal use license. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, um, I am going to save my project. I just saved it okay. up here on the top. Save, save. And then I'm gonna reload Design Space so to make sure that my fonts actually go into Design Space. I saw a couple questions while that's reloading. Patty doesn't understand the power fist and the quote. This is an MLK Junior quote. It is MLK Day, Martin Luther King Day. Um, the power fist just represent unity. So yeah. unity amongst races, amongst different beliefs. Amongst everyone. Yes, unity. so it's just like a universal symbol for unity. So yes. that's why we're using that today. So now I've got my power fist in, okay? My fonts should now be in because I reloaded Design Space and I had already downloaded them to my computer. So let's open a text box and I'm just gonna type in uh, Martin Luther King. That's wild. We did have a vet said, I have Cricut Access. I used a font last year that was free and now this year, I don't have access to that font because it has a price on it. There you go. That's wild. That's, that would be, yeah. That's so, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
that's why we keep preaching to you guys. If you get the MGL membership and you, if you downloaded that font last year from us and then you canceled with us, you would still have that font. Okay. Lisa so. says, I wish I would have found MGL in the beginning. <laughs> I have so many designs that I use Cricut Access files oh. so they can't stop now. That stinks though. I know. I mean, to I, I know that because we design stuff constant. If I use their files and they took them away from me and I'd spent like hours on something, I would be mm -hmm. like devastated. So, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be in the inventor font. So, we're just going to double click into that text box. It'll highlight our text. And then you're going to find your downloaded fonts under the system tab. Okay, so everything, every font you download from us is going to live under there. Even not from us so we're going to be using this font or that and y'all i need to see this quote again because i just can't be remembering okay i'm going to open another text box pull it over here i'm going to go ahead and change this one to our nomad font and all of the stuff that we're using today is linked below so all these fonts and files and supplies are linked below so if you do decide to drop, drop, jump in on that free trial you get 20 downloads and you can this can be three of them yeah and yeah. let me tell you these three are good ones to go with listen i use uh, this nomad font all the time religious <laughs> i have to like make myself use other fonts because this is like one of my favorite ones Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and top this out. Now I'm just gonna top it into one text box right now and I'm gonna show you all how to break it apart and put it to different colors. So right now we just have one solid text box. It's all gonna be this standard gray color, which is how it comes in. Lauren, were you about to say something? Um, I just, as I was saying that, we had one of our friends say, when I go to check out on the website, it's saying free trial or one of 20, 20 credits for a dollar. The free trial does get you the one of 20 credits. You still get the credits for, with the free trial. We have just moved over. We used to try, we used to have the dollar trial membership. Mm -hmm. We have now moved that over. Instead of you all paying a dollar, we thought it's just a dollar. Why can't we just give it to them for free? Yeah, why not? So we're just giving it to you for free. So it's the same thing. You mm -hmm. shouldn't have to pay the dollar. You're just going to choose if you want to go yearly or monthly. Definitely go yearly if you are on the fence. You get the full MGL starter kit if you stay with us for the year. If you don't cancel that, Plus, um, you get 50% off pretty much. So anyway, right. That's just our spiel. One so th let me show you guys what we're <laughs> working with here. Okay. I'm trying to move all this stuff over because I want to just look at our text right now. So we have, okay. Sorry. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps zooming into the wrong thing. Oh. I don't want it to zoom into. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So we have our singular text box. This is what it would look like if I just typed it out. Y'all, that is that a That looks hot, terrible. That, yeah, that's <laughs> a hot mess, okay? We wanna get here. So you're like, how, how? Tell how me. did Alicia get there? How do you get there? Tell me. Let, me, let me just fill you in. I'm gonna give you some good tips. If you're taking notes, get your pens out. Okay, the first thing that we wanna do is separate all of these lines to individual text boxes. And the reason we want to do that is because look at all this overlapping text. Like it's just, it's a Mod Podge. It's mm -hmm. not cute. It's not cute. So select your text box. We're going to go to advanced, ungroup to lines. This is going to make every single line where I've hit enter, it's going to make a new text box. And so now you can see, oh, I must not have hit it. There we go. Okay, now look. All of these can be moved. They're free to roam. Okay. Yep. So looks already looks so much better, doesn't it? Because we've faced already. It out. Yeah. So that is one little tip. Now let me zoom in to this guy over here. I want to show you guys what I did. And I want you to really get close up look. Okay, looky here. You see this? You see what I did here? Would you just look okay, at Okay, okay. I was like real confused there for a minute. Like mm -hmm. I just thought you were just overlapping, but you're not. You're no, not. Okay. I would never. I would never. I know. So, I should have not. I should have. I should have. You should have had me. faith in you. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is basically get our text exactly where we want it in terms of where we want it lined <coughs> up, 
and then I'm going to show you a little quick hack to make sure that your words look neat and separated um, rather than just straight up overlapping everything, which you could do, but when you start getting into multiple colors, it's not going to like it's going to lay over top of the other colors, which is going to, you're going to be able to see like a little bump and it's probably just going to be little. You wouldn't really be able to tell that much, but it just bothers me. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what you're going to do, if you've zoned out, zone back in, I'm going to give you guys a little lesson today. So let's just get really close and personal with this. Okay. Let's make sure everything is exactly where we want it. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, especially with this messy script that looks handwritten almost. This looks like someone wrote it, which is what I love about this font. Um, but I'm just kind of staggering it a little bit, nothing crazy. It's still relatively centered, but it looks like someone wrote it with their own handwriting. And so, there's a couple places where it's overlapping, particularly down here. And honestly, it doesn't overlap in many other places, but right here between the T and the G, when you start doing multiple colors and multiple layers of vinyl, this gets real lumpy. Like every time that shade of brown passes over the other shade of brown, you're gonna have a little mark where the letter is underneath it. Do you know what I'm saying? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bottom line of text. Okay. And we're going to add an offset. Now stay with me. So we're going to add a very tiny offset 0.25 way too big. I'm thinking like 0.05 hit the tab key before you hit apply hit tab. That's going to give you a preview of the offset. You can see I didn't hit apply, just hit tab. And then it's just still giving me that little blue outline. I feel as if it could be a little bit bigger. Let's do 0.07. Hit the tab key. Beautiful. That's where I want it. So I'm going to hit apply there. Okay. So my offset is selected. The reason I know that is because in my layers panel, it says offset. I need to slice this offset into this hate is too great. I need to slice it into that. So I'm going to really use my layers panel over here. Okay. I really want to commit to this layers panel because it's going to help me. It's like, I wish we could zoom in and the only thing they could see is the layers panel. I know, I know, I know. Maybe one of these days will be that fancy. Yeah. So <laughs> you want to use <coughs> offset and then this hate is too great. What I'm going to do to grab both of these layers, since the offset is already selected on its own, I'm going to hit the shift key and then I'm going to hit hate is too great. Okay. When you're slicing, you're only going to be able to slice into two layers. We need to use the slice function here. We cannot use any of the other combined functions in this instance. So I need to select both layers. I'm going to go down here to the bottom right where it says slice and we're going to select that. And you're going to see it's going to start to look a little crazy. So we have like this whole, the offset came to the front and oh my gosh, what's happening? Well, let's just start getting rid of the layers that we don't need. So we don't need that. We, I'm going to just click right there and hit delete. It looks like I didn't do anything, but I am deleting these layers. And look at this y'all. Let me zoom in. Looky. Do you see how much oh, cleaner that is? Yes. It's just a little thing that you can do to elevate your work. It really is. It's the devil's in the details. The truly. Mm -hmm. Truly. It's, it. it's things like this. It's just the, the tiny details mm -hmm. that you do make the world a difference. And that is one that you would have never thought. Right. But it's very, very important. Now we did have a friend, <coughs> Alyssa asked, can you, um, can you also do multicolor by putting different color HTVN strips on your mat? I'm you can, you. Yeah. you can, but with this one where they're so close together, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't, but yes, right. it is possible, especially if you are using the same material. I am going to show you guys how to cut these out multiple colors on one mat today. I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah. So, um, now that we've got that, I don't feel like I need to do it anywhere else. Like we did it even, it even went on to this D you can see just the corner of that D. Mm -hmm. Not only is that going to help it look better. It's going to help you line it up. Yep. 
That's exactly what I was saying. It's going to help you line it back up, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, like, these ones don't have it up here, but we what we'll do is start from the bottom and work our way up. Yeah. Start up from the bottom, now we here. Started okay. from the bottom, now we're here. Okay. Started from the bottom, now we got to stop now. Lauren is dancing. <laughs> it's happening. Okay, I'm going to bring Martin Luther King Jr. down here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Y'all, this gets real little, so I'm going to show you. You know what would be really cute with that? What? Letter spacing. Make it. Oh, did I do that? Make the. I, I did it. I, I was about to say. I think you, you did. know me. I know you. You know, you know my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what Lauren just said is the letter spacing. Letter spacing is like a design element that we like to use a lot around here to give things a more modern touch. Yes. That's how it feels to me. It's very, it gives it a more trendy, like modern look. And it uh -huh. may seem silly to some, but it just, like we're saying, devil's in the details, those little things really make it look better. So yep. what you're gonna do, select your text box. So we've just got our Martin Luther King Jr. selected. And then up here, we have letter space. Now you can manually adjust this like that, or you can just go in here and top in a number. Like let's put in three. Mm. I, mm, is that I too like, much? No, I think I like, but you do have a, I don't know that, do you need the comma for Jr.? King, do I? I don't Should know. we Google it? I want it to be correct. I would. Martin Luther King Jr. I don't think you do. <laughs> you don't. I don't. No. I put it on my shirt. Why did I do that? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm glad you said something. Okay, let's yeah. take this out. You can remove HTV from your shirts by putting the mini easy press from the inside and then plucking it off. So I can yeah. pluck off that little uh, comma. It'll be okay. Okay, beautiful. Now, if you are designing this shirt on your own, I don't want to see any of this, okay? No, no. It needs to be either the width of your design or, or a little, little smaller. smaller. Yeah, now also, uh, let's go the other direction. I don't want to see any of like it being like way like y'all. We have to cut this out of vinyl, okay? Yeah. So you don't want it to be like way, 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 way too small. So let's just bring her up. I think I want people to know who said it, but I don't want it to be like hey, hey. like because it's gonna look crazy. So we're just gonna put that there. Now listen, Linda. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. If you are cutting text this small, and y'all. You probably can't tell from my shirt, but this font is very thin. Like on the sans serif fonts, they can get really skinny, like on the U and the A. What I like to do when I'm needing to weave things like this is add an offset, or some people call it a cutting box. You could just put a square around this if you wanted to. I'm gonna put an offset on mine, like a, like a point, let's see a point two offset. No, bigger, like a 0.25. I want it to be one continuous box, so let's do 0.3. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna apply that. Let me change the color just so y'all can like see what the heck I'm doing. So now when I go to weed this, I don't have to weed the whole big old thing. I could just weed right around it and it just makes weeding intricate cuts a lot easier, okay? That's just a little hack that I use sometimes. Um, and I am going to attach them. You do have to attach it if yeah. you want that to work. Because it's not going to go, it'll separate itself if we don't. One thing that my favorite part about um, using that hack specifically is when mm -hmm. it comes to like permanent vinyl. It's Especially. phenomenal with per permanent vinyl. Yes. And you know what, Lauren? I'm looking at this and I'm still worried because it's real skinny. I but, think it's fine. Did you have a hard time with it last time? Yeah. Well, like, you can't, the, so the skinny parts of my letters, like, tried to rip. And tried to tear. Yeah. So, I'm going to do a, like, small offset to make the letters thicker. Okay. okay. So, right now, I'm just going to select this word, just the word. I'm going to add an offset, like a point zero two offset, point zero two. See? Very tiny. You can't even see, you can't even hardly tell a difference. I'm going to hit apply 
and we're just gonna keep the black version and get rid of the gray version, okay? I just want that black. So this is the ac actually just the offset. Yeah, we it got just, rid of the text. Yeah, and it made it much thicker, and so it's gonna look a lot better, okay? And then I'm gonna attach it again so everything cuts where it needs. And look how yeah. much thicker those letters are. I agree, yeah. I agree, I like it. It's just gonna be better and easier to weed whenever we go to do it. Right. Okay, so we've got that now. We need to make sure we have everything cutting out on the correct colors. Now you can put these colors in whatever order you want. I'm just gonna stick to what I have over here. So we're gonna start with our darkest brown. Let's see actually right here i've got that dark brown and then i'm gonna go a shade lighter and then go to the next text box we're gonna go even lighter and then we've got this one down here which is that white apricot color and then i did martin luther king in the dark brown just to reflect so it kind of pulls the whole design together because that's the one that we used at the top mm -hmm. Okay, and so you kind of can't see the Martin Luther King down here, but that's okay. It's totally fine. And actually, I'm going to shrink it down just a hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everything is looking good. What do y'all think? Do y'all have any questions so far? We're about to resize and start cutting. Okay. Love. Love it. Love it. Okay, now we need to um, see how big our design needs to be. Okay, and then we're going to do our little power fist, and then we'll cut. So... It's hard judgment on the back of your t-shirt, like where to put it. I measure with, I pick with my heart, um, which is a horrible advice. Oh. Um, because like you can't, I don't think the t-shirt guy's no. really going to, I mean, kind of. You kind of want it like mid, mid arms, the top of it to be around the mid arm section. Like if yes. you go out to where the sleeves are yeah. and the top of your design starts about the midpoint of that yeah. is a good rule. I, that's a good, we should just marry that rule. Yeah. Just midpoint of the sleeves. Yeah. Now, if you're like, I don't have a t-shirt guide, you can just fold this over like mid sleeve and, and like iron take it. your little press all we need is like a little guideline, y'all. We just need a little guideline. This is what's great about having these little mini easy presses. Look, there's a line there for us. Yep, that's where you could start. Yep. Also, the name is not centered in design space right now, y'all. It's just because we can center it when we get to go to press it. It's not that big of a deal that it's not centered in design yes. space. Yeah, because all of this stuff we're going to have to lay separately anyways. Yeah. It's not going to be cutting out where it is um, because we are using multiple colors. Now... Um, let's measure to see how big we need to make it. You know what I did? I Hulk smashed our oh, measuring tape. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I literally smashed our measuring tape the other day. I do be throwing stuff sometimes, like on accident. It just slips out of my fingers. We need a t-shirt guide for the back. Yeah, Karen, that's a good idea. They probably have back t-shirt guides, I would think. Okay. So, obviously, like... You're not going to want to make your t-shirt design the whole width of your shirt or the whole height of your shirt. I mean, unless that's like the look, but it's not the look for us today. So I kind of go maybe about mid shoulder too. Yeah, mid shoulder is going to be about the, as wide as you want to go. You don't want to go any bigger than that. So 11 wide. Let's go into design space. I'm gonna select everything. You need to be resizing everything together. And we need to make sure that this is locked. If it looks like that, it is unlocked and it is not ready to be resized. It will not be proportionate and it'll look awful. So make sure it's locked. The width needs to be 11. And that's gonna make our, it'll automatically adjust your height so it's proportional. So it's gonna adjust it to 8.3, okay? So that's about the size, and you can see that's almost exactly what we did over here. Yeah. So that's it for resizing that part, okay? I'm going to hide. I'm just going to delete that. Also, we don't Patty that. has asked a couple times what is Snap Matte. Snap, snap Matte is just a, um, it is a feature that you can use in Design Space from your phone where you literally just take a picture of the mat and, and place then you things place where the color of the vinyl is. It's 
not, it's not my a great favorite. Feature. It's not a great. It's feature. there. You can use it. It's not my favorite, but that's what it is. The idea of Snap Mat is amazing. Yes. The actual function of Snap Mat is awful. It is so. Uh, you would not believe. <laughs> oh, I know. We tried yeah. to do mm -hmm. a full before they upgraded the print and cut size. Um, we tried to do a full print, print and cut paper sheet. You would mm -hmm. have to like stand on a stool and like stand over the mat and like <laughs> it was so picky. So we just never, we just don't ever use that feature anymore. But it is a cool idea, just not, not great. Okay, Bef now let's flip our shirt over. We need to measure our pocket because we're fixing to do our fists. So we need to make a square and like there's little seams right here. I don't really want it coming all the way out. I kind of want it like right inside of that seam. So let's make a four inch square. Let's go back to design space. I'm just gonna go to basic shapes and we're gonna pull in a square that's gonna mimic our pocket and I'm gonna make it four inches, excuse me. And then let me zoom in. Y'all know I like to work from a thousand miles away. And so now we need to make sure your shape is locked. We're gonna shrink this down. And then we are going to duplicate three times. And we may have to resize after we place these if it's still too big. And I think it's gonna be just a little bit too big. But what you can do before that, before you resize is select all of these. We're gonna go to align and distribute horizontally. It doesn't look like it did much, but now they're equally spaced and that makes my heart so happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so then you can come in and shrink these down. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then we just need to change the, change color. the colors, yeah. So I'm just gonna select each one. And honestly, we have to put them on individually anyways, like we were saying, so it doesn't really matter if I distributed them equally. But we still like it. <laughs> it makes my design heart happy because I can like see what it's gonna look like. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So then we can delete our little square. We don't need them anymore. Now, if you're gonna make a bunch of these, keep your, keep your guidelines so you can know. I'm gonna delete this old one. Oh, we have someone here, <gasps> Creative Jamie, I think, NC, anyway. So new, barely have the cricket out of the oh. box. What is Design Space, please? So, friend, Design Space is the designing software that you use with your cricket. Mm -hmm. Design Space is free. Anyone can download and use Design Space, even if you don't have a cricket. You can you do can it right download now. It. You can download it right now. Mm -hmm. Now, here is where we come in. Cricket does try, like, cricket does give you education to use your machine, but. I feel like we take it a step further and go like super far in depth. Yeah. So um, what we do is we bring you inspiration, education, and motivation, motivation. to get your <laughs> cricket out of the box and start using it because you've already invested so much into right. your machine. You need to learn how to use it and you need to get the fullest potential out of it. So what we are doing, um, and this is specifically for friends like you, yes. is we are offering a free seven day trial to our website where you can try us out um, for seven days. You get 20 download credits. You can download 20 different things from our website and use them in Cricut. Plus you get access to um, our master, our 30 days to master your Cricut workbook. Now what I want you to do Alicia real quick you want I want you to go them? to the website and I'm going to go to our share screen and I want you to show you, I want you to show them um, where you can go. So you're going to go to, if you sign up for the seven day free trial, you're going to go to your dashboard mm -hmm. and in your dashboard, you can either go to your courses or your resources, either one. Mm -hmm. um, resources is probably one of my favorites. And mm -hmm. then I don't think that's the 30 day book. Oh, is it? 30 days of master of cricket. Yeah, okay, JK, that is the book. So this is the 30 Days to Master Your Cricut book. You can scroll down. Um, if you go, fun fact, stop right there. Did you guys know that these were clickable? Those words are clickable and they drop you straight <laughs> down to the day. Well, I'm learning something new and I helped make this book. Yep, 
drop you straight down to the day. So we walk Aww. you through, it is 30 days, self-paced, and then I think you can like jump to top somewhere. You can like hit just uh, go to top maybe. Um, maybe not. Okay. I thought you could. It's okay. Anyway, we walk you through, we help you um, get it out of the box, setting up your machine, getting um, like familiar well, with your familiar terminology. With the terminology. Mm -hmm. Um, what is in design space, how to use it, the functions, tips, tricks, fonts, everything that you need to know, um, all the way through walk, like making your first cut. Right. Even troubleshooting help. Yep. So there's so much good information in this. This book is like going to be your holy grail, especially if you're just learning. And even if you're not, even if you have a little bit of experience, but you haven't set that good foundation and like that's something I preach on a lot is mm -hmm. a lot of times like a perfect example of this is I wanted to learn how to sew and a lot of times we'll say just jump into it just do it yeah um, but like if you don't have a good foundation foundation for what you're trying to achieve like you're not going to be able to see your full potential to something yeah so like you're not going to be able there may be things that you want to do with your Cricut and you're like well I don't even know how to upload a font and I'm so frustrated and I can't like you need to have those basics down before you start jumping into like bigger projects. Oh, absolutely. And that's why this is so good. This is just so helpful. I we mean, we have someone coming on to help us um, do some crafts part time. And this is what I literally handed her the booklet. Yep. I literally, I was like, you just need to go through this because this is everything. This is what we know. This is our foundation. So if you're new and you're wanting to, you can get that right now and you just have to do that seven day free trial. And then if you want to commit to it, you can. Yep. So Beautiful. easy enough, right? Yes. Okay. So let's go back to our Cricut. Okay. Now we have all of our elements. Let's zoom out. Okay. Let me bring my little power fists over here. So everything is done now. Look at it. This is our finished product. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to go, we're using the Explore 3 today. Uh, you can make this with pretty much any of the Cricut machines. And you can see all of our brown stuff, all of the, each of the colors, it separates onto its own mat. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, I keep saying I need to do this, but I'm going to change this to 12 by 12 mat. I'm just going to go in my settings and change it right now. I think you have to go back out. I and do. Back in. I'm going to show you guys. Let me show you. If your if your design space keeps doing this, and I know it does because ours does it all the time, and you're like, why does it keep snapping to a 24 inch mat? Go to your settings, and then we're going to go to load type, and change your load type to 12 by 12. Okay, and hit done, and watch. Let's go back to make. It's going to be on a 12 by 12 mat. Look beautiful. Oh. Love it. <laughs> so much easier than having to go and change it. Because, like, no one's using a 24-inch mat on a daily basis, right? No. So, we are using heat transfer vinyl, which means it has a built-in carrier sheet, and we need to cut it from the back side. So, we're cutting the vinyl from the back, and the carrier sheet is built in. So, we need to mirror our image in design space. Anytime you're working with HTV, you need to mirror, Okay. If you're using regular adhesive vinyl, you do not need to mirror. But this is going to reflect our image, and we need to do it on all of them. So I'm just going to work my way down. Now, if something's in it, like if you don't want your fist all the way over here, I like to move all my stuff to the top left side uh, personally. And then, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. If you want to look at it without the grid, you can just click on it, and it makes it a blank screen. And then we're going to select continue. This thing is Megan Irk here because she's not telling me about our little bouncy thing. Normally what? she's like that little icon that keeps bouncing. Oh. She's <laughs> normally the one that's like, hey, can you like close that bouncy thing out? Okay, so when you're looking for cutting heat transfer vinyl, you are not going to find it under heat transfer vinyl. You're not going to find it under HTV. For some reason, you're going to find it under Everyday Iron-On. Now, if that bothers you, you can change the names of these. Um, but we just remember Everyday Iron-On. That's what we use. Mm -hmm. Default pressure. So we're just using a standard fine point blade for this. Um, now, I did say that I was going to show you all how to cut more than one color on a mat. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah. I think, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do two 
per mat. So I think two per mat is a good place to start. A good start. place to start, yeah. right. So you're, you're not overwhelmed. Because we could probably technically squeeze all these on a mat. But I, I wouldn't. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to cancel. Okay, you can't do it from that screen. But I can do it from this screen. Yes. So what I'm going to do, I've got my brown mat here. Well, let's say I want to cut this stuff on the same mat. What you can do, and used to you would have to individually move each of these, but I can select both images. Y'all, just let's take a minute. Do that again. You all can click and drag and select multiple images on the mat mm -hmm. to move them together. Yeah. Just like you can in Design Space, y'all. Yep. I think that it took me a while to learn that. And well, they didn't do that. it. They only had it. I think they did it like six months ago. Yeah, but still, like, I feel like I should have known it six months ago. I know. It is, it's I, a good you know upgrade. You me, I'm, I'm moving and saving time and material any yes. chance I get. Me too. I like to be putting as much as I can on one mat, honestly, because yep. I don't want to send it through a bunch of times. Right. So select both, and then these three little dots right here, you're going to select those and hit Move Object. Now, there is a Hide Selected if you need to hide something you don't want to cut, um, but in this instance, we are moving the text to our brown mat. Dark brown. So we're going to move it. Yeah, dark brown. <laughs> we're using different shades of brown. So when it first comes in, it's going to come in on top of everything. Don't click off of this because it has what you moved selected okay. automatically. I'm just going to move this down. Now it did. It did leave the power mm -hmm, fist. It did leave my power fist. But that's okay. You can still put it in that corner. Yeah. Oh, here. Let's put, put it over here. Okay. So now let's go overhead. So now what I need to do is put my dark brown up here and my immediate, my second shade of brown on the bottom. And in design oh, space. people didn't know you could click and drag and move multiple things at one time. Well, there you go. There you go. So we're learning. In, there's a lot of good little tips in this. Yep. There's a lot of good little information. So in we're here. back in design space. Yeah, we're back in design space. So now I need to make sure that my dark brown vinyl is at least four inches. I would even, yeah, because four is good. Yeah, four inches is going to cover right there. So then on my mat, I'm just going to put this to the top of my border. Okay, take your burnishing tool. Make sure it's burnished all the way down. You can see my four mark is right there. Now, some people get crazy with it, and they'll get like a little paper trimmer. Uh, we just like to grab our X-Acto knife and wing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go straight, you know, as straight, <laughs> as straight as you possibly can. So when it comes to cutting straight, one of the things that I have learned, and I can't remember where I, what I heard this on. So first thing I do, which I, I don't know about you guys, but I love to watch those pinstriping car videos. Yes. Uh, They're my favorite. Yes, I love so those So I was watching them and they always use their pinky as like a guide. Yeah. So I started doing that. That helped. But also, when you are cutting something, if you want to cut a straight line, you look at where you want to cut, not where you're currently cutting. <laughs> you keep your eye on where you want to cut. And that's the same with like what I, I think it was a painting class. It was like, if you want to draw a straight line, you don't watch your, your paint, or you don't watch your paintbrush. Yeah. You watch where you want to go and use your pinky as a guide and just straight. Okay, well, I've got to cut this one, so we'll do okay. that. But before we cut it, look, let's overhead. Go back to, look, I'm, what? I'm, yeah, I'm you, overhead. You see what happened? What happened? Uh, yeah. You okay, have. let's go back in the design space. Can you guys tell me what's about to happen? That fist about to get cut mm -hmm. off. So just move it a little bit. Listen, you can just scooch them over, but as it's a little too close for comfort, I'm going to put them over here. I'm going to put them up here, make sure he don't get chopped off. We need the whole thing, okay? Yep. So um, you can move stuff around in design space individually as well. And I need it to be one, two, it needs to be, let's go to the eight mark. So it needs to come to the eight mark. Now let's do Lauren's tutorial, pinky out. And look at where you're going, not, not at your knife. So I want to come to here. Okay, here we go. Well, it you have a, a little bit of an arc. <laughs> <laughs> it takes some time. It takes some time. 
Listen, just give yourself some room. Don't like try to get it as close <laughs> as humanly possible. Okay. Oh, why am oh, I doing that? That's way not straight. <laughs> Look how much straighter. So this is like something, Lauren gave you guys a really good scientific explanation on how to do that. In my heart, I can cut, I can do it straight without, and I don't know how to explain it to you guys sometimes. Like, I know. It's even if we were painting, I would be like, you just have to go fast. Yeah. I'm the kind, of, that would be my, I'd be like, don't think too hard. Just, just do, do it. it. So you were thinking about it, right? So I was thinking too hard and that's my problem. Sometimes that's why when y'all catch me not measuring stuff, it's because if I do measure it, I'm going to mess it up. If I don't measure it, I'm going to do a lot better. And that's just me. Lauren can do things very precise, <laughs> which is great for her. I wish that I was like that, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. So, okay. So we've got our dark brown, we've got our medium brown and now we can cut. So let's go back to design space. We can select continue. Oh, before you go, I would probably just go ahead. Or do you want to cancel it and then move your other two later? Oh, yeah, we can go. We'll do it. We'll, we'll just cut those separately. Okay. It's no biggie. Okay. So just so you guys got a little tutorial on how to, you know, put stuff on one mat. Yeah. So we'll go continue. We're using the Explore 3. And like I said earlier, we're using Everyday Iron-On. Fine point blade. It's already in there. And then let's just load it in. Uh-oh. Well, that one's dry. Is it there? <laughs> that pin's dried oh. out. Oh. Okay, ready? That's a me problem. It's okay. My bad. We have like a thousand crickets. I things. thought it was a, I, I guess I was making that card and I thought it was a scoring wheel or a oh. scoring stylus. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, Karen. Alicia is the queen of eyeballing. Thank you. I'm the queen of measuring. Lauren is the queen of precision. <laughs> the queen of precision. Okay, and then. So we've got everything on here. Oh, and just if you are a newbie, make sure you're putting shiny side down because remember we mirrored our image. So our image is going to be cut mirrored back here. Then when we flip it over, we can stick that transfer. It's got that built-in transfer and we can stick it on our t-shirt. So make sure your vinyl is shiny side down or carrier sheet side down is what we like to say. Okay, because there are HTVs that have matte carrier sheets, which no, don't do that. If you're manufacturing uh, vinyl, stop doing that. I'm sorry, y'all. This camera is crooked. Is it? It's always crooked. I don't know why. That yeah. camera always is a little better. Carol says, cut with my heart and measure with my heart. Early shisms for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. No doubt about it. Okay, so we did our first two shades of brown. I am going to see, I heated up my mini easy press way too soon and she turned off. So I'm gonna turn her back on to the medium heat setting. And let that warm up. And then we are gonna put these on the mat here in just a moment. I'm just gonna throw that Cricut pin away. I was about to say, let me run out here and grab you another mat and you can start putting, we're on oh, one yeah. by the way. Okay. So you can start putting those on a different mat. Um, Christine says, I have a note to remind me of that for HTV. That's a good idea. Even if you just cut it out of vinyl or put a sticky note on your uh, Cricut, just put like, Mirror your HTV so you don't forget. Thank you. Ooh, that's a fresh one. Fresh, fresh. Mm, I love a fresh one. So mode. fresh and so clean. Clean. So fresh and so clean. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hazelnut, I guess you would call it, color ready. Also, we have a lot of new friends here today. First of all, welcome. We are so glad to have you with us. Um, Rebecca said just signed up. So oh, glad to hi. hear that. Um, for those that are new or new to cricketing, I see that we have a friend here. Um, got a cricket last month and watching a bunch of MGL videos. So excited cool. for that. Cool, yeah. Um, we are doing the free seven day trial membership. I highly encourage you all. It used to be our dollar deal. We just decided why not give it to you guys for free. Right. Um, so you still get your 20 download credits, unlimited access to our website, um, all of the good stuff that you get with, that you were getting with the dollar deal, you also get with our free trial membership. One thing I do want to say is if you sign up for our free member free trial, I highly suggest going ahead and going with the yearly because there are a couple things that you're going to get. If you decide to stay on with us for after, let's say you decide to stay on after the seven days, number one, you're gonna get a full MGL starter kit. Uh, weeding tool, all kinds of tools, 30 days, printed out, printed and shipped, 30 days to master your Cricut, all of that good stuff. You're gonna get it all. 
Um, plus you save 50%. I mean. You can't beat it. Like nonchalant, you're going to save 50%. 50%. Non nonchalant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just the best way to go, honestly. <laughs> Christine says, Lauren, I'm picturing your playlist of music. Girl, I don't know that you could, I don't know that you could picture mine or Alicia's. <laughs> I would love to know what I would you guys love think to know we what you all, to. What you all think we listen to. Honestly, me, my, and I was thinking about this the other day. We might have been talking about it. I had such a weird first impression of Lauren because she was in the midst of creating the silhouette course. And every day she would come in and, and walk go straight, straight, straight by to you. that. Walk straight by. Not, I don't even know if you like talk to I don't think I did because I was very much in my, in my head. Yeah. And so she'd go straight back to this back, our conference room and work on silhouette all day and like not speak. And then for month, for like two or three months, and I was like, oh, I don't think she likes me. <laughs> I think I might have told her, I was like, I don't think that Lauren girl at work she likes me very much. <laughs> but it's just so funny, like, because like now, obviously, I know that you do, but it's just funny. Like, you get these weird impressions of people, and like, I, pr I probably put out a different imperson impression than what I actually am. Oh, Erica says, um, a little bit of everything except heavy metal. Mm. You're, you're a little wrong there. A little wrong? I listened to a little bit of heavy metal, too. Um, Megan, 90s, 2000 pop country rap. That, absolutely, I do that. Yeah. Throw in some, I do like emo. God. You My know Chemical that, Romance and Green Day. My favorite band of Jeez. all time is Paramore. So, yeah. I, I will, you guys catch me listen to Paramore. I actually, time. listen, I love, I love early 2000s R&B and rap. Today's rap, not so much. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I really like it. But, like, I've gone through so many phases. I used, yes, Erica, I used to listen to, I used, Godsmack used to be my favorite band. That's freaking hilarious. I love them. I still do. But I also, you throw in some bluegrass, I love me some good bluegrass, mm -hmm. too. I Ooh. used to play the fiddle. I used to play the fiddle. Love me some bu good Heck. bluegrass. But then at the same time, like, folk, indie, Yes. I can get down to that too. Like, I also love Billie Eilish. Mm, yes. And there's just, I mean, it's really all over. Elvis Presley. I yeah. love me. Listen, me and Asher rock out too. 70s rock too. Sin saw Paramore in person. I saw Fleetwood Mac speaking of 70s rock. Mm. I, want, I would love to have been, listen, Penny Lane is like my spirit animal. I would have loved to see... Uh, what? My mouth just blank. I Creed is clear water. Them. I would not call Godsmack uh, hard rock either and not metal. They're not. But like. Godsmack? No, no. They're what not. What would you call alternative not... rock? Uh, That's like Paramore is like alternative rock to Yeah, me. more so. Um, when I think of like heavy metal, I think of like. Corn. Uh, Marilyn Manson. Yeah, well. Yes and no. I think mate is like would shine down and like that's giving me can we call that dad rock i don't know is that a genre i don't know nickelback shine down uh CCR, creed i mean I, I don't know i just literally like i listen and i'm i my taste is very eclectic like i me too. i just love music i think music speaks me too. I, music we, speaks to me we and we listen to the most random stuff y'all metallica like, yeah that would be Hard rock, heavy metal. Can anyway. we go overhead? I want to show you guys. Yeah, I'm going to weed this little tiny Martin Luther King Jr. Look how easy this is to weed because we put that bounding box around it. Oh, I love that. Isn't it satisfying? Mm -hmm. And like nothing's trying to pull up because we made our word thicker. So these are just little tips that you can use a lot. We get so many questions on like, how do you get such intricate cuts? And I'll say this, a big part of it is that we use Caesar Easy Weed. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the best vinyl for intricate cuts. It just yeah. is. Um, yeah. But also doing little tips like this help a ton too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, son of a biscuit. What is it? I cut the wrong one. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Also, fun, I was fact, thinking. fun fact about um, myself, um, I got to see Tom Petty um, at Bonnaroo, but 
my very first crowd surfing experience <laughs> was at a Green Day concert. Oh, you've seen and Green Day? Yes. I saw, and I was in the pit, and I crowd surfed, and oh. I crowd surfed to the front, and Billy Joel had just brought someone else up on stage, and I was reaching my hand out, and he was fixing to touch my hand, and the security guard pulled me down. <gasps> I was so mad. The disrespect. The disrespect. <laughs> I crowd surf for all of that. That is awesome. It was really fun though. I want to crowd surf. It was before I was too big to crowd surf. <laughs> I was probably at my smallest. And Listen. I was still at the point I was like, you all can't hold me. But they did. And, and I went from will. the back to the front. Well, we went, I used to go to a lot of shows and like um, people would crowd surf, but like they'll drop you. It don't matter how much you weigh, they will drop <laughs> you. Like that, you get, and you'll see people. They'll be like going and going, and they're and like go down. It's because like people aren't paying attention. Yeah, like if they're coming. No, I did crowd surf that that concert for That's sure. That's hilarious. I was really into, and I didn't. I got out of it after a couple of years, but I used to go to dubstep shows all the time. Mm -hmm. And now my sister is a rave girl, like a Hannah? dead no Giselle. My oh yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. she is an actual rave girl. She like w gets like the different colored weaves and like I does the it. long ponytails and like she's committed, I which they it. live out in Colorado. So there's like a whole big scene out there. I love it. Um, but yeah, she's very into it. It's pretty cool actually. So, you know, my dad toured with the Grateful Dead. I did not know that. Like he was like, I don't want to say it's a groupie, but him and his buddies took a Volkswagen bus and followed them on tour. In like, I guess it was the late, it had to have been like the mid 80s. So, yeah, we'll go back to, we'll, we'll go back to talk about cricket stuff. So sorry. We were just weeding, trying to. We're just weeding. We're just weeding. Okay, so now I'm just taking out everything that I don't want on my vinyl. Um, this weeding tool is just awful. Do you need another one? Uh, actually, yeah. For some reason, we only have one over here, and it's this one, and it's like okay. not great. Give me a second, I'll run and get you another one. I just, um, I like to tear like a section whenever I'm weeding and to get myself started. So we're taking out everything we don't want. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you can just pull all this off. And you just want to be super careful. Now, if you're weeding adhesive vinyl, you definitely want to be way more careful than I'm being right now. Heat transfer vinyl has this carrier sheet built in, which makes it a lot easier to weed because it's sticking to something. Because this is sticky, as you can see. Okay, but the, the vinyl is not actually sticky. The vinyl's not sticky until we apply heat to it. So the heat activates that adhesive. So we're just going to pull all this off. I'm like very aggressively weeding, I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of people like to weed on the mat. That is a personal choice, but um, it does help. I'll show you. We'll just lay this on here. It's kind of like your second set of hands. So. We're just going to weed out all of these little inside pieces. And I need, normally you can have like a piece of tape or something, but lately I've just been cutting off a piece of my transfer tape and, <laughs> and sticking all my little pieces to it. Oops. Let me just, that's what I do. I'm such a klutz sometimes. Okay. So I'm going to pull off all these little pieces. This is where the pin pin tool really helps y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, also if you have like a light pad, if you're bad, if you can't see well, I mean, this is a well lit room and this is hard to see when you're weeding dark colors. I'm honestly kind of just like picking and seeing where it lifts. If you want me to be honest. So we're just going to weed out all of this. Do y'all have any questions about weeding or anything about heat transfer vinyl? I know we've got lots of new beginners. Uh-oh. 
in today's uh, class. So I want to make sure that we're answering any questions. There are no bad questions. No bad questions. No. Everybody's saying the pen pen is, the pen pen really does change the game with a lot of things. And if you don't want, you can purchase, this one specifically came from um, 143. 143. But um, you can purchase them on Amazon, I think. And you can even make your own. Yeah, you can. I think someone said earlier they made their own. Yeah, and you could take a mechanical pencil. Um, so look. What is this little piece right here? See, you got to make sure that you're getting all these pieces off because we don't want none of that. Looky there. Okay. So that's our first first one. And then we're just going to keep weeding. And I like to use the big one for the bulk of it. And then I'll go back in with the pin pin tool for all of the middles. Um, the new print and cut size, I'm pretty sure you can print um, a or Super B A three. Can 13. you print thirteen by nine? I don't think no, not thirteen. Eleven by, by seventeen. Tabloid. Eleven by seventeen. Is tabloid is the largest you can print now. Yeah. What you would just do is just go change your um, size. Yes. It used to just be six point seven five by nine point two five. That was as big as you could yeah. do it. Okay. You do have to have like the wide format printer though if you were wanting to make something that big. This one I can see so much better. Oh, oh, I need to add this to the hack book. I don't know what, I was on like TikTok or Instagram. I don't know. This girl had, and maybe I'm an idiot and I haven't seen this, but like we do this every day. This girl had an adhesive vinyl design and she, it was like kind of like a mandala, but it was adhesive vinyl, so it wasn't heat transfer. And to get the little pieces out, she took a piece of like this, like a piece, something sticky even, I guess you could just use tape. And instead of like weeding it out with a pen, she just stuck it and pulled it up. She would just stick it and pull it up on adhesive vinyl. Isn't that wild? Do y'all do that? If you've done that already, please tell me. I don't know why I didn't ever think to do that before. I can kind of do it here, no. I think it would just work with adhesive vinyl. But I had never seen anybody do that before. I do love this text, but there are so many little intricacies and you've uh -huh. got to make sure you weed out everything and it's easy to miss this stuff. So you can see here, got a piece of brown stuck. Okay, and we are in the home stretch y'all so you can just stick your vinyl back down and use the mat as your third hand we like to call it and then you're going to weed off all of this okay. yes i've seen that too megan megan said that where someone will take a um, lint roller mm -hmm. and roll over the pieces to pick it up for sure yeah i've seen that i've actually tried that one but it doesn't work. Like someone else said, wouldn't it pick up all the pieces? I'm like, yeah, it does try to. The way she did it, she just had like a little piece. So it was just like, just getting where she was touching. And I feel like that would help more. Um, but a lint roller works really good as a transfer sheet alternative. Like if you need, um, if you're out of transfer paper, you can use lint roller paper. So if you're ever needing some, in a pinch. Okay. I love this color brown. I want you to know I'm trying to, you know, I'm redoing my living room and I, this is why we get on side tangents because I'm weeding and we start talking about random stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm redoing my living room, but I'm mixing blacks and browns. I'm obsessed. I need to, I need you, I need you to come to my house and help me. <laughs> Because I'm doing it, but I'm like, I don't know if I trust my design instincts. Um, Kelly asked if we know if we can put HTV on something that has been knitted or crocheted. Mm. Um, technically, you technically could, could. Yeah. But is it going to look great? Uh, I don't know. If anything. It depends on how chunky it is. Yeah, if anything, I would do like a leather patch with an HTV on the leather. 
That yeah. would be cute because you could like stitch a leather patch on yeah. or something. Uh huh. Okay, there's our third one. Let me take this little piece off. Sometimes it's good to look at it through the front and make sure you didn't miss anything. Like you may not see it from the back side, but then when you flip it over, mm -hmm. you can see that you missed stuff. Like I've done it every single one I flipped over, I've missed something. Okay. And then this is our last one. And then we will start attaching everything. Holy moly, it's hard to see this one. <laughs> I like couldn't even find where to start. Okay, I usually just kind of pick a corner and go from there. And you can see like, I just like to break it and have like two separate halves. Yeah, you do also have to be careful. Randell said uh, my yarn did not do well with the heat. If you have a synthetic mm. yarn and not a cotton yarn, it will, there's a chance like with a high heat, a synthetic yarn can melt a little easier. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I wish I was into knitting and crocheting. My mom used to be. She takes it in uh, spurts. Now she's a painter. She's a painter now, but let me tell you, do you remember, um, it was before Asher was born, so it's been, you know, 10 years ago, <laughs> when it was such a big deal that um, people, like the little baby photos, like people would have those little crocheted sets. Do you yes, remember those? Like yes. Like they would do like little crocheted boots and like. Yes. Like different animals, like you would have a crochet like hat with like, like a ladybug ears. or like a tail or something you would lay over for newborn pictures. Uh -huh. She did so many of those oh. and would sell them. I bet she sold a bunch of them 10 she years ago. Was, she was really good at it too. That's awesome. Did she have a business name? No, no. She just likes a side hustle. She just, yeah. Before that it was wreaths, those burlap wreaths. So she's a crafty lady. I didn't yeah. know this. Mm -hmm. I thought she was just getting into it. No, she has been. It, she just takes it and spells with her different crafts. None of my, well, that's not true. My mom is not. She is creative, but she just is not crafty. She couldn't be bothered to sit down and make a craft. She's like, no. She's a seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. My mom's a seven. We're she's, both a seven. Yeah. She's like, not interested. <laughs> Not interested. She's like, I mean, she will every once in a while, but no, not really. Like, even when I worked at the pottery studio, I think she came to, like, two classes, and I worked there for, like, four years. Oh. <laughs> she just, like, wasn't into it. But, like, then her house is really cute. Like, she always, she likes to decorate. That's her outlet, I guess. Yeah. My sister, though, both of my sisters, one of them sews. Hannah, she likes to paint and draw. I like to paint and draw. Those are my main things. And Cricut crafting now. Okay. Alrighty, there's our fourth one. So, everything's weeded. I'm gonna cut all my little fists off. I'm just gonna take scissors and cut those and set them to the side. We'll do those last. We're going to do our words first. And the great thing about HTV is you can like stack it. You can like stack your pieces and keep mm -hmm. them all together. Like I can just stack my little handprints in one little pile. And I'm actually going to have to separate this Martin Luther King as well because it's gonna go at the bottom and my other part goes at the top. All right. Let's get organized, people. We've got all of our stuff over here. We don't need our mats. We don't need our keyboard. We just need our t-shirt, our vinyl, and our mat. So, let me lay our shirt out. Is our crease still there? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it. I'm going to actually put that top word. Let's see here. See, you can just tear these apart, which is super. Oh. 
be careful and don't do it. <laughs> what did you just do? I tore it. I tore uh, the tip of the R. It's okay, though. Okay. So I'm going to start up here. Now, I'm not ironing anything down yet, okay? I'm just going to start up here. My line's right here. I'm going to kind of put my text right through the middle of that line. Yeah. Okay. Do we feel like that's too low? No. Okay. And then um, decided to stick with love. Make sure if you've got little pieces of heat transfer vinyl on there, you're picking those off. Okay. I have a couple little scragglers over here. This is what I like to do, okay? there's You can cut this 10 different ways. I like to lay everything out when I'm working with heat transfer vinyl first. I don't want to iron anything on. That's just me, okay? I also wanted to start from the bottom here because that's where we did those insets on the words. So... I'm just kind of, and if you stick it down, you can move it still because it's not, no heat has been applied to it yet. Yes, this is the back of the shirt. Yep, we're on the back of the shirt now. Oh gosh. Let's tear this. So here is where our T goes. You can see the little line and then this right here is where the D goes. I ripped my R, just ignore, just ignore that. Is it, is my shirt crooked? Does it look crooked to you, Lauren? Like overhead? I mean, it's a little crooked in the shot, but like. This looks a little crooked to me, but look, it's all gonna stick together now. So I can kind of like move it. Where's my line? Okay. That looks better to me. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to start. I've got my extra little piece over here. I'll add it here in a second. But we're going to start with the bottom line. So what I'm going to do is just peel this up just a little bit. Okay. So it's still attached to my shirt. I need to move this so it's out of the way. Okay. Now, I could just leave those there. Just kind of and sit something heavy on them if you want. And I'm going to adjust my mat so it's right underneath here. And then we're going to apply heat. You do not need a Teflon sheet or anything like that. You can just use the carrier sheet and the vinyl. And then I saw someone on our TikTok and they were like, I see people moving their press around when they're putting on vinyl. I thought you were just supposed to hold it in one place. I mean, technically, you could just hold it. In, like, if you had a bigger press, you could just put it down on there. But with the mini easy press, I'll move it around. Yeah. I mean, it's just what I do. And you can tell when it's starting to adhere because you'll get bubbles. And y'all probably can't see them on the video, but I can see there's bubbles on top of the vinyl. And that means that it has detached from the carrier sheet and attached to the T-shirt. You can always lift up an edge too and this heat transfer vinyl is a warm peel meaning that you remove it while it's still warm you don't want to wait for it to cool down okay beautiful i'm going to add this little piece that i ripped off <laughs> on accident no one's gonna know everybody Nobody's going to know. No one's going to know. They're going to know. <laughs> Let me make sure I line it up right. Gosh. Okay, here we go, people. Here we go. And I'm not touching the other vinyl for this. Look, you can't even tell. Yeah, I can't even tell. Okay, and then I'm just going to flip this back down. It lines up perfect. Lines up perfect. Look at that. Looky there. Do the same thing. We're going to peel this up, keep it attached, pull back our vinyl we're not doing right now. Sit something heavy on it. And we're going to keep on trucking. For some reason, it moved like a hair, and it's bothering me. I didn't pull it all the way up. 
Mm-hmm. And it's probably because, and we talked about this the other day, vinyl will shrink a little bit sometimes when you apply heat to it. It's just natural for it to do that. Yep. And what's great about how we we did this is that there's still a protective sheet over that previous line of text and we do want to make sure we have something covering it um, whether it be the carrier sheet from the line above it or you can even use this previous carrier sheet to cover up any exposed vinyl you just want to make sure that you're covering it and not letting the iron hit it because it will melt your vinyl for sure so we're just making heating this up until we can see the bubbles And then we're going to do, oh, I didn't go over that good enough. Okay. Randell said, my carrier sheets end up all warped when I'm done. Am I overheating it? So if you use a, an actual heat press, there's a good chance that the carrier sheets will look warped after you're done because it is a lot of heat and a lot of pressure for a long time. Yes. With the mini easy press, it doesn't get warped because you're moving that heat around and it's pretty much just attaching to the, you know what I mean? So it's not warping it super bad. Mm-hmm. But right. now, Tanya asks a good question. Can you use an auto press and press all at once? You can as long as there's no portion of the carrier sheet underneath the other, like the vinyl. Right. Okay. I forgot that this vinyl gave me a hard time last time. For some reason, it's a cool pill. So I was just talking about how most HTVs are a warm, too hot pill. They'll say warm pill, but you can pill them while they're a little hot. Mm -hmm. This beige color, I don't know. I linked um, Caesar Easy Weed, which is a warm pill, but whatever vinyl I'm using right now is not, and I don't know what brand it is because I, I just found it in the studio somewhere. Um, it's like not wanting to stay on the shirt. And so I think it's just because it's a cool pill. So what that means is we cannot <laughs> peel it up until it's completely cooled down. And I'm going to use my, use the countertop. This is a good way to get your transfers to cool down. Yep. Quicker. Or a window. A win our windows would be great right now because it's us no It's so cold outside. It's freezing. Okay. I think it snowed about two more inches since we've been in here. Stop. We've been in here forever. Sorry this is a long tutorial. It's okay. But look how good this peels off after I've let after it cool down. let it cool down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's lay it back out. We are working our way up, people. Okay, I'm just going to... We're gonna peel this up. Pull this one up. Just gonna kinda of let that sit there. And then, remember, you do not want to accidentally iron over the line below it, so make sure, just reuse your transfer tape if you need to. Do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And be careful. Don't be reckless when you're ironing, like me. I get a little frolicky and start, <laughs> start touching my vinyl. Okay. And sometimes when you're working with different materials that have different peel times, like right now it's doing okay, but there would be instances where this is a cool peel, this is a warm peel, and I've ironed over it. Yeah. And I'm trying to remove this one, and this one's like, I'm still hot. And yeah. so I like to work with materials that have the same peel temperature. Um, like glitter vinyl sometimes will have like a cool peel. So I like to stick with all glitter vinyl, but you don't have to. I also see a piece that I did not weed right here. Okay. And right here. She's little. Little baby. Oh, okay. Um, so Lori said, how can you tell what temperature, uh, which HDV is cool pill and warm pill? If you don't, number one, I would look at the directions that your HDV mm -hmm. has. Also, I think that top line is a little. Is it up this yes. way? Okay. Yes. I, was... I was noticing that. Um, I would look at my directions, number one. Number two, once you go to peel it, 
I would just kind of see, like, is it... That's how I knew this one was if cool peel. If you're trying to peel it while it's warm and it's not staying, it's probably going to be a cool peel. Let it cool down. Try it again. Um, but that's how I always check. Yep. That's how I knew because that one would not stay down when it was warm. But then I let it cool down for a minute and it came off beautifully. So, um, I would recommend if you're... We'd had someone ask what leather we would recommend. Cricut or Dollar Tree for a tag on yarn. Dollar or uh, Cricut all the way. Honestly, a lot of times I feel like I don't recommend Cricut products, mm -hmm. but their yarn or their faux leather really is a very good faux leather. It is. I, it is. I, I highly, I really like it. It's a cuttable faux leather too. The Dollar Tree is just a little bit too thin for my liking. Yeah. Does that look straight? Yeah. Okay. And I'll just say, like, we've been chit-chatting for a while. It doesn't normally take this long to make. Like, I've no. been teaching you guys a lesson today. Yeah. Like, we have had lots of good little tidbits in here for learning purposes. Mm -hmm. So, it's not going to take y'all this long to make a shirt like this. Okay. We also have a friend say, let's say I lost the instructions and I don't know what brand I have. Is Cool Peel my safest bet always? Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things, once I iron it down... I would try to peel up a corner. Warm it, peel is typically what you're going to get with regular HTV. Yes, warm peel is going to be your is going to be typical for normal HTV. However, sometimes it's not the case. But I would try pulling up a corner first. If my HTV is not staying down, lay it back down and then just let it cool down and try to peel it then. Yes. And then once you've done that, you can figure out if it is a cool or a warm peel, and then you can label it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just lay, laying my little fists down, and like it's a little off, but I stuck them all together so I can move it. Okay, and then <clears throat> you can just individually put these on. So, I'm just going to lift this up, apply a little bit of heat, and then... Peel it off. Okay. And then I'm just putting that transfer back down. And then lifting up this one. Oh, he moved a little bit. Don't want to iron your pocket. <laughs> yeah, don't iron your pocket. I'm just going to lift this one up and then iron it down. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot of specialty materials are going to be a cool peel. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Flock is glitter, a cool peel. Glitter is a cool peel. Um, let's see. Um, sometimes certain, like the Super Puff, is a cool peel. DTF is a cool peel. Yes. Okay, and then I'm just going to, this is our cool peel one, so I'm going to... Apply heat, let it cool down, and then we'll peel it after a second. Yes, Erica. Erica said the shirt came out lovely and so many great hacks. Listen, I love this shirt. Like, I'm so excited to wear it. Me too. I was We're excited. making each of us one. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm wearing the, my shirt on Monday because it's so cute. And we don't do that a lot. We don't, no. I mean, we like the shirts we make, but, like, we don't wear them a lot, if that makes sense. We, ma we, we made this one for us to wear. Yeah. For sure. Okay, I'm just trying to get all up in there. Well, Lori, we're so glad that you did join us. She said, I almost didn't join you, but I've learned some about We've, listen, I understand like some days you're like, I just don't feel like it, but I feel like today has been a very um, informative, a very informative. We've done a lot of stuff today. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes these simple tutorials teach us the most. Yeah. They always will surprise me. And by the way, we're giving away a hundred dollars, guys. All you have to do is comment um, yes. today or comment on the replay, um, and you get a chance to win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. We're going to announce it tomorrow. Yeah, we just decided to do that because y'all are hanging out with us today. Yep. Surprise! We're giving away a hundred dollars tomorrow. Surprise! Comment either here live or comment on the replay if you are watching the replay. Comment down on the replay, and we are going to give away a hundred dollars. Okay, guys. She's Love done. It. This is the back. Look how pretty. I love that. I love it. The font is beautiful. We can go overhead so you guys can get a final look at it. 
This is our final product. If you are like obsessed, I need to make this today. Make it, you can wear it, post it in our Facebook group. If okay. you haven't signed up, we're doing the free seven day trial. You can get into our website and get all the files for this and make it today. Yeah. I mean, everything you need is on our website. So yep. super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Does anybody have questions before we go? I'm so glad you all were here with us today. We had, uh, what is the project for tomorrow? Um, it's your, it's the grandkids one. Oh yeah, my little, we're doing HTV on wood tomorrow. Yes, it's very cute. We're making cute. a grandkids or a, a sign for grandparents. What's it say? Grandchildren are the grand, you want to bring it over here? I'll show them. Uh, sure. I can show you guys what you're gonna make tomorrow. This is, it's an HTV on wood project. Y'all, I did a, uh, woodworking for years and didn't know that you could put HTV on it until I worked here. <laughs> Fun Grandchildren make life grand. That's, That's what cute. we're making tomorrow. And you can and add. We're learning, yeah, we're learning how to, you can add the little clips at the like bottom. Like for pictures or artwork. If you artwork. wanted, right. But we're really, I want to focus tomorrow on how to use some of our fonts because we have like swoosh fonts. Yes. Oh my so gosh. You guys have to be doing. here for that. Yeah. We're using some of our swoosh fonts tomorrow. Yes. So if y'all haven't, if you're like, what's a swoosh font, these little glyphs, y'all ask about these all the time. Yeah. So make sure you're here so you can learn how to do that. That's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go home. Yeah. Hopefully we're not snowed in already. I don't think so. I hope we're not. <laughs> I so, hope you could. My biggest concern is you going to get the girls. I know. I got to go pick up my babies and then go home. So, uh, yeah, we're going to dip on out of here. But thank you guys for coming. We had so much fun. And we will Yay. see you all tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Sounds right. good. Bye, guys. Bye. All righty.